Okay, welcome back to the channel. And as promised, it's going to be an older machine today. So first things first, let's have a look at what the machine is. Now this is here. Just take a note of that. It's PayRise 06. So today's machine is going to be this old uh, Ace machine PayRise. Look at the version of the ROMs here. This is 0 0.6. Now these are the versions of the ROMs that we've had for this machine forever, basically. This this layout, according to the DAT file, which was last modified in July 2006, is therefore 11 and a half years old. It's an old layout, and we've always had the 0.6 ROMs for this, but now I have an old, or well, considerably older, emptyable set of ROMs to work with. So let's have a look at those. We'll load those in and you'll be able to see the difference. So just remember that was 0 0.6. And here we are about to load the other version in and you can see there that's 0 0.1. So these are, or, or the, the, this is the first revision. Let me just adjust that window a little bit. This is the first revision of the six pound upgrade that this machine pay rise got now i'll just fix this little tiny window problem and we'll go to a bigger size window and then we will get going there we are that's better back in big o vision so yeah pay rise one of the older oh, and there we are watch for my hidden treasures machines i'm sure you'll remember these ace did a lot of these machines back in the day from memory the first one that they did or certainly the first one i can remember seeing was the old Ace Machine Play It Again, which I'm pitching from memory late 1990, early 91. They turned up in pubs and arcades en masse. There was a lot of them. These things were popular, which was cloned, I think, into Twilight Zone. And then they started doing these ones with the, the sort of features on them and the exchange got a little bit more complicated. And then they finished up with the, oh, what, it was Grand National and Crime Watch and was the one called Globe Tropper, which Globe trotter not tropper <laughs> that would be an unusual alternative but uh you know trail based games so this was one of the the, the, the mid-range ones if you will which is when they started putting features you know gambles and feature exchanges on them rather than play it again which was a far more simple uh 777 heaven type affair now on the original four pound 80 rom revisions and of course i had no idea about any of this at the time only found out later on i mean all these ones came out back in the fruit forums days i mean these have been well known for a long time but just not back in the day i think on the four pound 80 roms you could empty them because you see these lines down here the winds off the lines if you got the reels lined up i think were free so you could get the machine really buzzed up taking free wins off the lines and then play it down from normal play because the machine didn't think it had paid anything out they had free wins on them and all sorts of stuff none of which i knew at the time they also had a vicious streak in them which i i do remember getting quite a few times i mean they'd play it again could streak for like 50 quid 60 quid on four pound 80 jackpot which is bonkers i mean that was a lot of money back then um and then going forward into the six pound upgrades they all had big streaks on them as well but what i didn't know was that there were free wins on them too which this version of pay rise does have now the version of roms that we had before which were 0 0.6 they were chipped that one was fixed the uh, free win had been chipped out at that point this version of the roms the 0 0.1 still has that free win in it and it's really very simple effectively um spot the ball here is free the two pound exchange into spot the ball the spot the ball win is free so let's get going um, as ever i'm going to track my session stats up here so we've got naught in and naught out and we'll set off with a tenner so the idea is that all i'm playing for we might actually be able to give it a mfme a little bit more volume there it's a little bit quieter than the newer sample machines isn't it Let, let's try that is that a bit better maybe down to four percent let's try that so all I'm doing here is playing for the spot the ball. Doesn't matter how you get there. You can gamble to it from the one pound, one pound, 20 wins, then up to two pound and exchange, or you can get a two pound win straight in and exchange over. Doesn't matter how you get it. You're just going for spot the ball and any win achieved off spot the ball is free. It's as simple as that. 
So I need to get... Obviously, I'm going to need two gambles to get up to it, which he doesn't like doing... None of these seem to like doing two gambles, really. There we are. And now we exchange into spot the ball. And as long as I can actually get it, believe it or not, this is a free win. Let's hope I'm better at this when I'm filming and talking than I am at fucking skill stops, eh? There we are. It's not much. It's £1.40. But that's free. The idea is that the machine does not know that I have just got a £1.40 win. Now, I did have a little go at this before, and even though that win is free, it's not quite as easy as you would think to make a decent profit, because even though the one pound, the spot the ball exchange is free, the machine gets to a certain state of happiness where it will simply start spinning wins in that you can't avoid so it will spin in the treble bars or the jackpot it'll do that a few times in succession to even off its percentage and at that point it will stop nudging in wins so it kind of protects itself in in that fashion so you have to be a little bit careful you can't let it get too happy or it'll do that and just kind of kill itself uh, what can we get there we can get boxes so you've got to keep taking the odd sort of £2, £23 win to stop it getting to the state of happiness where it will sit, bollocks, where it will simply spin in a couple of jackpots or a couple of treble bars and kill itself and also get the bank built up from spot the ball. The other thing is, back in the day, of course, that these machines only held a certain amount. These were uh, tubes these machines had before the days of hoppers and, of course, well before the days of note changers. So the machines only held a finite amount of tokens and money. So there was a, there was a, a limit to how much you could take out of them, simply with the physical limitation of how much money the machine could hold and how many tokens the machine could hold. So you had to weigh that off against how much you were putting in to, to rack those wins up because there was a limit to how much you could take out. So even though emptiers sound like they should just be, you know, when you hear empty or when you hear free win, you immediately think, well, how can you go wrong? Surely you just walk up to the machine, bash a few buttons for 10 minutes and you've got all the cash. It's never quite as simple as that, even with emptiers and free wins. So this is taking a few quid to get going, isn't it? Now, I did have a, a little practice at this before. And did all right, but when I say all right, I walked away 14 quid up. It managed to, I managed to get it into a state where it was spinning in those jackpots and treble bars. And it killed itself, and then you have to put quite a few quid in before it'll start nudging again. At which point, it's quite hard to make a profit. I've put a few quid in it since then, so I just got it nudging again. It should be willing to nudge in wins. But I haven't gone over the top. It, it's pretty much, as I started playing here, it was pretty much on percentage. So I'm trying to do a kind of fair representation of how it would have been, you know, maybe if you'd found it in the pub and or the arcade. Not ready to streak or anything like that, but not absolutely dead. And I do remember finding these dead as a dodo uh, in pubs and arcades in the early 90s. It was... It was nice when you caught them on the streak, and even if you even if you didn't know about free wins off the lines or anything like that, you could still just get lucky and catch them on the streak, and they streaked really, really big. But I also remember suffering some horrible, terrible losses on these things. You know, th these were the kinds of machines where you just wouldn't believe that you know a four pound eighty or a six. I should have held them again. Four pound eighty or a, a six pound jackpot machine you, th that you could lose so much money on them. Um, it, it would be explainable just by thinking, well, somebody had the streak before you went on it. But throw in these, these free wins into the equation, which got them into the state where they'd have to go into sort of an, an overcompensation to get back to percentage. And it's easy to see. Yeah, I, I, I can remember having how much, a few early baths, shall we say, on nights out, uh, thanks to these uh, the various watch for my hidden treasures machines or you know the older uh, you know borrowing a tenner off a mate thing how do you need to borrow a tenner you came out with 50 quid so now that's taken a while to get that hasn't it okay let's let's follow it hang on go yep 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 yep, yep. i think we should be all right there well the numbers up to now are not great are they i've put 20, 25 quid in and that's 30 quid. I've now put 30 quid in and I've got three pounds of free wins in the bank. 
So this is going to have to get better, fairly sharpish. But it is nice to, to be able to give these ROMs a go, if nothing else, because it, it's a little piece of fruit machine history that, that we've kind of been missing up to now. Is this going to happen? Is it going to do it? I was doing a lot. I, I didn't think I was doing very... I shouldn't have, shouldn't have looked a single bar there. I didn't think I was doing very well last time, but I'm doing far worse this time. Okay, what's that? Oh, that should be... That should be uh, mixed sevens. That's a reasonable gamble. We'll have the 14 there. Don't you dare. One pound! That, you scabby turd. Alright. Crikey! All that for a quid! Blummin' heck. Right, there we are. Really need this to start picking up. I mean, the theory is here that it doesn't know it's paid that four quid. And it's had, that's £35 in now. I'm having flashbacks to 1991 and the Royal Oak in Radcliffe. Goodness me. Well, we'll, we'll plough on. It's going to take a little bit of a recovery though here, isn't it? Uh, the, the guy who passed these, these ROMs on to me, he's got his own tales from, you know, it can... Even when he had the, he knew the emptiest for these back in the day about all the free wins. And, and he was saying that, you know, it could take 40, 50 quid to get the machine going, as it were, and, and to get it to the point where you could play it. Well, that's a jackpot if I let them all spin, but I don't want to do that. I mean, I'll only get one nudge if I hold them all, though, won't I? Um, that, yeah, it is one nudge. So that's no good. Could have, I don't want a jackpot because I don't, I don't want to kill it off. I should have probably just let him spin there. In fact, I should have just let him spin there and had me three nudges. Because I knew it was only going to give me one nudge if I held them all. So it should be getting happy, happy uh, just sort of naturally. Okay, there's, there's singles. Like the soundtrack of my youth, that. Watch for my hidden treasures. Oh, fuck! You stupid fucking idiot! We'll go lower. And he won! Oh, Gee, yeah, get off the pitch. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Well, I don't think, I mean, Christ, I'm 40 quid in and I've taken three quid. That that shouldn't, you know, that shouldn't stop it boarding or nudging in wins, for goodness sake. Okay, let's actually, one pound, at least let's exchange at the, uh, the right point. This did go up before. I had it as high as three quid before. And when it gets above two quid, it, it starts going quite fast, this. Okay, let's keep our eye on the prize. Our goal here, I think, is to get out with more money than we've put in. So of that eight pound bank, three pound is legit and five pounds is uh, the free win. It's not very happy, though, is it? Certainly can't see it spinning in a jackpot in this state. It definitely got into a state that I never, ever saw them in the wild, though, because I don't remember them ever, ever, ever dropping in a succession. It was, I think it was a, a jackpot and treble bars and a jackpot, at which it just span in on the reels on, on subsequent spins. And, and what the guy who, who gave me these ROMs was saying was that was like the, the sort of anti the, the the low percentage compensator kicking in to protect itself almost as if that was the fail safe in the code hang on something's going on here you're, you're well behind percentage just drop some wins in doesn't look like there's much risk of that happening here though does it and if you can see you can see me stats up at the top there if you look at me in this is 45 and why did i nudge that one this is 45 pounds in I, I'm going to need a lot of free wins here to have any chance of, of walking away from this with a profit, aren't I? Maybe I, I did a little bit better than I... I mean, I was only £14 up before, but maybe it, it's still recovering from that. Okay. Well, this is not good. This does remind me. Honestly, this, this reminds me of how I sometimes found them in pubs and arcades. So that's going to be double bars, isn't it? Which is absolutely useless to me. I don't want double bars. There we are. That's better. One gamble for the exchange. £2.60. Now, it'll be going a bit faster here, so we'll have to concentrate. Yep, 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 yep. Where are you going? I've got you. There we are. So that's £2.60 free win. 
Now, I don't know how much... I, I, I've no idea what the, the tubes held on these in total between uh, cash and tokens. Because obviously, the problem is, if let's say you got uh, let's say you got 60 quid in, if the machine only held a total of, I don't know, 70, 80 quid, then, then you're never going to be more than, you know, 10, 20 pound up, however well you do. But there we are, 280. This is going to be hustling a bit. Whoop. Got you, got you, got you, got you. There you are, you bugger. There we are. No problem. Right, let's hope it just livens up a little bit here. I need to get quite a few of them spot the balls in quick succession. By which point I'm hoping that it'll be... That is mixed. Oh no, it's a jackpot. Okay, it's, it's getting a bit happier, isn't it? That's trebles. I don't want trebles. Let's go for mixed. Let's keep getting free wins and then I'm hoping that it should be fairly merry at that point and be willing to give me a nice little sort of mini streak to calm down. Because we got off to a bad start here, so we need to rack up these free wins. I think it's that one. There we are. 55 in at this point. So we've got a lot of ground to make up. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's that. That's good. We'll exchange over. And again. Uh, yeah. Got you. Good. And this does... I think I was just... Oh, yeah, there. I was just saying before that the guy said, yeah, he, he remembers them taking some, some 40, 50 quid sometimes to, to get him in a lively mood where you could start doing your thing. So this has certainly fitted into that mould. There, I have got my eye on you, matey. There you are. My cup overfloweth. Let's keep racking these things up. And this is potentially at the state now. I wonder how much happier it has to get before it's going to do that thing where it just starts spinning the winds in. Because that is the... St Once it does that little forced mini streak, it gets it to the point where it won't nudge winds in, is, is the problem. And then you, you know, you're, you're another 15, 20 quid maybe before you can get it to start nudging winds in. So I don't want that to happen. But at the same time, it doesn't feel like it's quite there yet, does it? Uh, okay, well, that's, that's easy enough. It can't lose on a one, so that's a guaranteed exchange on to spot the ball. £1.60, that's a shame. It'll be going a bit slower. Yep, thank you. I don't know why they put a possessive apostrophe in holds there. I'm sure some people just chuck those in randomly and they don't know what they're doing. And we'll exchange over. See what it's use. Watch very carefully. I certainly will. So use holds. Holds what? No need for a possessive apostrophe there. My A-level English wasn't wasted on me. And yeah, bring it in. We'll have it. Two sixty. Good. I haven't seen it go above three pounds. I don't know if it can. Oh fuck! I don't know if it can actually do token wins off this. Yep, yeah, middle. There we go. Good. This is looking a bit better now. Oh, that's a shame. So we'll go another five inch. That's sixty in. But remember, we do have. Can we? We've got mixties there. That's fine. Remember, we do hopefully have. You absolute arsehole. Was there really any need for that? They could be scabby on the high-low gambles, these, though. They were, they were rum buggers sometimes. They really were. Okay, we can go higher than that and exchange over. Give us a good one. £1.40. Bah. And that's nice and slow, at least. So that's the right-hand side. I do like these older machines. I mean, e even without these these new ROMs, to, well, the new old ROMs, if you will, I do like these old machines. You may have got the impression from the first few videos on the channel that I'm just all about the new machines, but... Oh, whoa, 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 now this is going to be really going, I think. Let's do it. Ninja skills. Oh, 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 get the fuck in there. Well, I didn't do that before. Six quid. There we are. That's a free win of six pounds. My word.
Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 nothing could be further from the truth. I do really, really like these older machines. Uh, e even without these new ROMs. Yeah, that's what I was up to. Even without these new old ROMs. Um, I will routinely load up. Even now, I'll... I'll once, well, not even that real. I'll load up, like, say, a set, you know, Compost Corn 777 Heaven DX and just play it. Ooh, there we are. Just play it till I hit the bank limit, that kind of thing. Or want to plug his old Jackpot 7s, uh, 1600 DXs, that kind of thing. I really do have a soft spot for these old machines from back what were the bad old days for me. It's nice to play them from the safety of an emulator and have more of an idea of what you're doing. There we are. That's nice and easy by comparison. Really weird, though. It can go from a £6 one to a £1.40 one. I'm not quite sure what the machine's internal logic is there. Have we got a... Uh, yeah, there's a double bar there. It's not very big on holding after nudges, though, is it? Watch for my... Is that a... I think that's actually a... Is that a jackpot? It is a jackpot. We don't want a jackpot. I mean, what I'll do, I'll keep on going with this because... Ah, you arse of a thing. You'll get to see it. In fact, what I might do is deliberately not start taking wins, because what you're supposed to do, I believe, is once it starts getting to a certain level of happiness, you want to start collecting some normal wins to stop to stop it fucking doing that. So, I'm obviously, I've got it wrong because it has now just spinned the jackpot in. I was supposed to stop it from doing that. Obviously, maybe there were some signs that I just didn't see there. It, it before it started, it was putting shots across the bow by spinning in double bars, and I kind of ignored that. And next thing I know, it was spinning in treble bars and jackpots. Let's hope that was just if it's just no oh, fuck. Well, that's probably the end of that. But if I bet, like me, you never, ever, ever saw these machines, these watch for, watch for my hidden treasures machines in the wild do shit like that. I can't remember them ever just spinning jackpots in like that. Certainly not more than one of the blooming things. The problem is that might that might have done it now because from from what the chat was saying that that was like the code kicking in to say okay there's something going on here you're in trouble just spin a couple of jackpots in to level off. I don't know if, if that's you know exactly what the intention was behind it or if it's just the compensator kicking in and trying to get the machine back on track but either way the risk now is that it'll kind of stop letting me get up to where I can exchange to spot the ball. And if that's the case, I'm actually going to walk away from this down. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I It was obviously getting happier, but I really didn't think it was getting let's spin in the jackpot happy. You. Oh, you. Festering bomb sword. I'm quite uncalled for. Ah, uh, I might have nobbed it here. Might have nobbed it. Almost, uh, as per the risk, it looks like it's even to be just with twelve pounds of sort of forced wins. It it seems to have just taken itself off the boil enough. And I guess with the real machine, this is where you'd, you'd be hitting up against the problem of, you know, how much machine, uh, how much, how much machine, how much money can the machine physically hold? How many tokens can it hold? Whereas you don't get that in the emulator, because of course I, the tubes or the hopper, as it were, are set to be always full on the emulator. What's that? Well, that's going to be, that's going to be four. Oh, okay. Uh, it should be up there, I think, shouldn't it? Is that? No, okay. Don't matter. That That's fine. Don't you dare. <gasps> oh, but, ah, yeah, help, I'd hold them all there. I might have spaffed this one, so it's not even going to be... It's not even going to be a win here, is it? Because I'm... You can see up at top, I'm, I'm £75 in. Not a great performance. So it makes my £14 up before is all, is looking quite good all of a sudden, isn't it? I mean, this is set on quite a mean percentage as well. It's set on 78%, which is good, I would say, because that's kind of what it would have been set at 
in the pubs and the arcades, you know, like I said, I think I said in an earlier video, 74, 76, 78, that was about the norm for pubs and arcades. The things, uh, when these layouts are released in the emulator with, you know, 88, 90, 92, that's great. It gives you a much better game in the emulator, but it's not really representative of how you'd have, <laughs> of how you would have found them in the wild. And we're back to a quid now on Spot the Ball. So we could have done with better than that, couldn't we? The other, I, I guess one issue here potentially is that this is not a million miles away from a RAM reset. Uh, I think as I was sent this, uh, this ROM set, it was from a, a RAM reset, so... It's possible that the machine hasn't settled down enough, hence it's done that correction with two jackpots and that was enough to, to really get it back to where it wanted to be. Um, it may well be that this needs a few more quid in it to get it back to... Oh, what? Is that for a jackpot? It's like an old old and cancel for a jackpot, but... Hmm. That must mean it's get... Shall we see if we can have... What's up there? Is that mixedies? Yeah, it's mixedies. That's a bad gamble, isn't it? Oh. <sighs> Shall we see if we can just have one last little push? Because I really need to get a fair few quid in the bank here. I'm, I'm 85 quid in. I've had two pound out. I've got 50 quid in the bank. So I, I need to have a, a good little run here. My, my goal here is just to not lose any money. If I can walk away from this without having lost any money, I think I'll be happy. Oh, thanks for that. I was never quite sure if you were supposed to hold on these things, because they didn't have three holds. So, I never quite knew, and I still don't know to this day if you're supposed to hold... Oh, fuck off! If you're supposed to hold basic two of a kinds. But they they were quite unlike anything else. I mean, if, if you remember back to the, say, the Barcrest machines of the, t of the time, which were so tame, they were so sort of timid compared to these. I mean, the bar crests were really sort of flat, low profile. They had a, they had a once in a blue, me, blue moon, um, about £30 streak in them. So when these turned up, you know, they were they were quite a fearsome opponent. They took me unaware on, on early on. I was shocked by how, how swingy they were. You know, you, you went home with all the money or you went home with absolutely bugger all. They were brutal things. Let's see, we need another gamma. It doesn't like doing two, two kilos, but three quid. Right, we need it. Let's have it. There we are. Yep. Good. That's fine. I'd be amazed if this, if this can be turned into a winning session, though. That is all I'm after now, is, is getting away from this without having that was the wrong one to nudge get get away from this without having taken a loss it's just so unwilling to do watch for my hidden treasures isn't it there isn't well there's there's nothing there really is there so i may as well just go for a hold on the singles well if we got double up there we haven't got a double up there we've got mixties though so we'll have that that's sh that a better win Thank you. Come on, good one, good one, good one, one pound. At least it's easy to spot. And if you were pissed, you're not going to miss that, are you? But I, I fear I am swimming against the tide here. I don't think it's going to be possible to... to get back into a winning position. So that's gonna that's jackpot or so that's jackpot or doubles. So I may as well. I'll let him spin for me three nudges and hopefully I'll be able to get mixed easier. Yeah, there we are. Good. Come on, let's have a nice yeah, two eighty, that's better. This will be going a bit faster. Whoop, whoop. That's fine, we'll have that. I'm just trying to escape with my dignity intact at this moment. That, that's all. Nothing else. And is it my imagination? Or did these things, on, on later chips, did they lower the bank limit on these to 30 quid? 
I'm sure the other ones that I've been playing in the emulator, the bank starts auto-paying as soon as you go over 30 quid. And I, I remember that being the case in the wild as well, because when you got the streak, you would get these huge big banks. You know, that, that imagine that in 1990, 1991, seeing a 50 pound bank on a pub fruit machine. That that was quite something, but I've got it in my head that they, on the rechips, the later chips, they, they for some reason, they lowered that to, uh, have you got mixedies yet? They lowered that, that's up to one, to 30 quid. So if we got to 40, they're just not coming in regularly enough though, are they? What I'll do is I'll play it to the next big or well if I can see the auto correction coming next time I'll try and play around it but it absolutely blindsided me last time I could see it was getting happier but just just wasn't prepared for it to to throw those two jackpots in like that and once it's doing that as far as I'm aware there's there's nothing you can do to to really avoid it uh yeah doubles no nope. And if you look at my stats up at the top there, I put a hundred quid through this now. I think it's actually quicker to put a hundred quid through this than it is to put a hundred quid through Count Your Cash, which is a modern seventy-pound jackpot machine. And can you imagine what a modern equivalent of these things would be like? You know, one pound to go with a hundred-pound jackpot. You dread to think, don't you? Oh, just. No deal here, is there? Deal or no deal? No deal. It may all be over here. So even though... Even though I have got a machine with a free win here, I've managed to, to lose. So it just goes to show. Well, I'll hold them all for one nudge. Short of losing on the 15, which you won't do, will you? Thank you. It's just not enough. 140 when it's costing you, you know, like three quid, four quid to get it. One pound 40 just is not going to cut the mustard, is it? Still in the token wins. Well, I'll plough on. In the vain hope that I can actually get my get my money back here, but I can't see it. Okay, well again, get the one nudge. One, well we can't lose that, as much as I'm sure it would love to have me lose. You can't make me lose on a one, can you? Right, 280. Whoop, whoop. A little bit of tricks to you on, but there we are. That's fine. Auto pay! Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba it's the kind of bank that if you had this in the pub, people would be watching, oh, he's taking all the money out of the fruit machine, let's kill him! And you know, you're like, well, actually, I'll put 110 quid in to get this, mate. And they wouldn't believe you, would they? No. Well, you've seen it at least. The And it, it's a very, very simple one to summarise. The spot the ball win is free and then what you've got to do is play around it getting to a super super duper happiness level which i completely failed to do i don't want a jackpot well again what can i do there avoid it getting to the super happiness level where it auto corrects itself with unavoidable wins effectively oh, i'll have to oh, no, i need to stop it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like a impulse reaction there to hold as if I was holding after a win. But there was no win there. No. Okay, I've got to win two gambles, which is always a big ask on these. Come on. Da! Not sure if there's any mileage in reversing those or anything like that. What a bugger. Um, I'll have that. I mean, you'd like to think that, considering that, that a lot of that bank is free wins, I mean, it only forced 12 quid on me. 
and yet it's managed to knock itself back an appalling amount. Let's just see if we can get it a bit more lively. 260, but they're they just costing far too much. I need to be getting these, you know, every, every like pound or two, not every fiver. At least we haven't missed any. Okay. I mean, remember, of course, it's it's auto paid out a fair few quid. You can see up at the top, it's auto paid out 18 quid. Two gambles required on this one. Oh, you you knob cheese. There's just frankly no no call for that. Oh, mixties maybe. That'll do. Let's have mixties. Okay. Oh, crikey, O'Reilly. I have to mo oh fuck off, you absolute sack of shit! Am I do? Am I just doing this wrong? I mean, where did that come from? There was just no indication. It just lost on a two to a one. And I'm about to say I'm trying hard to moderate my language. <laughs> it spins in the chat box. So I tell it to fuck off. There's no need for that. I don't know what you're supposed to. May maybe I'm making some kind of Horrible mistake here. Am I just doing this wrong? I don't see what possible indication I'm getting here that it's about to just spin the jackpot in. Three nudges. So I've got... Well, I've got doubles there, but I can get mixties. Now, the interesting thing, and I assuming I win the gamble... Now, if you remember, on all the... If you had, say, a double... A double a boxed win to start and say gambled up to the to, to the uh, double bars and exchanged it would double the win whatever you got off the, but it doesn't th so this won't double to four quid even though it was off to a boxed win gamble exchange and it would be doubled if it was off um if it was off the double bars which is a bit sly i think okay may let's just we'll, we'll have so I'm aware this, this video's been going on for quite a while now. Let's just have one last final little push. But if it dies on its arse, I'm just going to have to collect the bank and accept defeat. And walk away having managed to lose on a machine that's got an, a free win on it. Which is quite something, isn't it? No. Just not going to do it, are you? Well, and I've actually taken... This is going to be a fair loss on this. If, if I walk away now, I am going to have taken a reasonably substantial loss on this. But look at this here now. Just spins in, add jackpot, and dies. Last fiver, maybe. I think that's that's again. It's you know what? Fuck it. I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and get out of here now. Get what I can and get out. Maybe someone can shed some light in the comments. Maybe I've got some aspect of this horribly wrong. I, I did understand conceptually that I was to watch out for it getting too happy and to stop it spinning in those big wins that you can't avoid and, and knocking itself back, but. But when you lose a gamble on a two, and then the very next spin, it spins a jackpot in. What are you supposed to do about that? How are you supposed to see that one coming? No idea. Meh, meh. Optimistic hold for a jackpot? No. What's that going to be then? Oh, trebles. Okay. Well, if this repeats... 348 times, I'll be quids in. Dun, dun, dun. No. There's, I've got to, I mean, oh, there we are. They are very compulsive, these machines. I had, a, I had a big problem with them back in the day, getting off them when I should have got off them. I remember streaking one once. It was in, I even remember it was a three hours pub in Radcliffe, and I streaked the thing. And we stayed in the pub for a while. And I actually went back and like put all the streak back in. There was just so compulsive, something so compulsive about these machines that other AWPs of the time didn't quite have. And it was because I think you knew that they had this capacity to just pay so big 
When they paid, they paid big. Well, we'll collect that out, and that is not, I'm afraid to say, a good result. That's substantially worse than I did before, when I did at least manage to win 14 quid. Let's see where we're up to. Well, I think I've had about 90-odd quid out of us, something like that. In fact, while it's racking the bank up, we'll just have a last... Oh, a last cheeky fiver. Let's see if it's got anything left in it. So there you are, yet another blundering, god-awful performance. Can't quite play anything right, can I? Culminating here in managing to lose handsomely on a machine that has a free win on it. That's quite something. But and it, nonetheless, nice to see this old ROM set running in the emulator. Uh, just loaded into an old layout. I think this was, this was a Trouty and Bugs Bunny layout back in the day. Oh, there we are. A last free win. £2.60. Let's have that. There we are. Well, I'm just going to try another fiver. I'll, I may as well keep it video. You don't, if you're bored now, you don't have to watch the rest of it, because I'm, I'm just going to try another fiver. Just in case. You never know, do you? Because I'm still well down on it. You know, I'm just hoping that it, there might be a little bit of kickback on it. Bear in mind how a substantial chunk of what I've banked out of this is in, is in free wind. So you'd think... Any chance? No. You'd think it'd still have. I, I don't think it's dropped enough of these compensating wins on me to, to level itself off, but it seems to think so. Load them just in case. No. No, 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 no. I mean, I would say these machines were... I don't know why I nudged that one. Th these machines were unique back in the day in that you know, you, you could put a tenner in these and not get anything. Nothing at all, not, not a single winner, whereas... Single winner of feature, whereas, you know, you, you couldn't put... You couldn't put a tenner in a, in a, in a six-pound jackpot bar crest and not get a feature or get something. There were quite a different problem. Look, I could, I could hold these all day. It's got no concept of three holds. I don't have to do anything. Oh, dear. No, it's had me, on it? It's absolutely done a piece of work on me. And now I'm going to have to walk home dejectedly and I haven't even got enough money to buy a bag of chips. My word. No, that's it. I'm done for. It's... it's yeah, you utter... Ball bag. Nope. What are the scores, Georgie Dawes? And I have lost £46 on a machine that's got a free win. That is fruit machine skills. That That is the kind of quality of play that, that I, th I think will become the aspirational standard for fruit machine players across the United Kingdom. Al's Watch and Learn channel, lifetime membership, 50 quid. Learn how to f play fruit machines here, boys, because I am all over this motherfucker like a cheap suit. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been Ace's Pay Rise on £6 chatbot running the 0.1 ROMs, and I have done fucking appallingly at it, but not to worry. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Hopefully it's going to be another one of these old machines, and who knows, maybe I'll win some pretend money next time instead of lose it. See you next time.